Hello and welcome to another video by the Wand Brothers. Today I'm going to be reviewing Bill Weasley's Wand by the Noble Collection. Okay, so Bill Weasley's Wand um, comes in the new Noble Collection boxes. It says Bill Weasley, a recreation of a famous wand. Comes with its black protection thing. Um, it's in a pink box, the exact same colour box as Victor Crumb's one, which is a bit annoying because now I've just got two wand boxes, the exact same colour. Um, but you know, it's not the box, it's the wand. Um, okay, you get your little name clip. Um, that's the copyright side. Bill Weasley, Series 10. Um, so they obviously don't do the series for the ones by movie because um, this is series 10 and some of them are like series 6 when they came out in like 2005 or something so kind of confused by that um, okay Bill's wand is a really nice wand a lot of people are familiarised it with Ron's because it does look very similar and I'll do a comparison of that at the end but I think it fits his character really well I mean I'll take it I'll show you the detail first it's basically, um, it's made of a dark sort of, I love the pink colour, it's, it's a dark sort of brown. It looks actually like they had a black colour and they've gone with the brown over the top, um, which gives it a really nice effect actually. Um, it's, it comes off a bit green on camera, but it's, it's just, I think that could just be the lighting. Um, unfortunately the uh, copyright symbol is in gold, so it does sh show a bit, but the thing about this one, there's no right or wrong way of holding it, so you can just hold it so the thing's facing down and no one's going to see it, so that's good. Um, what I love is how the handle kind of differences from the shaft, so you've got all these bumps go along, and then you have this sort of jagged piece, it's almost as if like um, this was here first and they've kind of cut away, but the difference with um, this to Harry's and Ron's is that the um, bit underneath is the same colour, so like with Ron's and Harry's it's more like a lighter colour underneath the handle like where you can see there, but this is just the same shade but I don't see it as that as a bad thing so it just looks like the wood just doesn't change, it's only been cut away a little bit but the handle kind of goes up into this big sort of clump at the end and it sort of reminds me a bit of Lupin's in the sense it looks like it's kind of been crushed um, in a sense when being formed and I think that's really nice and it has some really cool um, sort of uh, grooves here where you can which fit really nice in your hand I, I just I, I love to I love the texture of this one just to like run your hands up and down it's got a really really nice texture with the the bumps but um I'll just show you what it looks like to Ron's and yeah they don't look identical but you can see the similarities between them so they've both got a bump along the shaft pretty much uh, same length um, so as you can see, yeah, Ron's is a lighter colour, I know, and this has just got more smaller bumps. But you've got, both got the bumps, and then the handles are very similar. They don't, I mean, they don't look similar shape, but you can see here, this has been cut away from the wood, and this has been cut away from the woods. But then they are brothers, so I don't know if that makes any difference with the wands. I mean, Fred and George, uh, Fred, George's and Percy's are nothing alike, but, you know... But so yeah, I really really like this wand. I definitely recommend it. Um, it's it is a bit plain. It's not the um, you know it's not the most detailed of wands. But I, I think it's really good because it fits his personality. It's very it's kind of very rugged and battered. And if you think about Bill, you know he got he's got scratches from Fenrir Greyback. He wear he's got long hair. He wears like a you know a big um, earring. I think this looks a bit kind of like a fang. So you know he's not he's a quite a manly. Man, if you know what I mean, he's very, uh, <laughs> I don't know what the word to describe it, but, you know, I think this fits him very well. Um, so, yeah, so, uh, last week's competition, um, answer was Errol. Um, that was the owl that was being helped by a Hogwarts owl and Hedwig to get back into Harry's room. Um, so, congratulations to the winner of that competition question. This week's competition question is How many mammals are found on the Hogwarts coat of arms? So, how many mammals are found on the Hogwarts coat of arms? So, the first person to send us a personal message will um, get a shout out in our next video. Remember, it's a personal message. Don't put a comment on this video or a comment on the inboxes, then everybody else will be able to see the answers and it won't be counted as a competition answer. So, um, 
thanks for watching this review. I hope you've um, enjoyed looking at um, Bill's wand. It's a very nice wand, and I definitely recommend to get it. So, see you in the next video. Bye.